Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Create a Stack. Today in this video, we are going to create a mini calendar using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. You can see on my computer screen here we have one calendar that display the date, day, month and year. It is displaying the current date. Let me show you in my computer. You can see the current date is 13th June 2023 and the day is Tuesday. So it is displaying the current date with the help of JavaScript. Before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel Create a Stack. Now let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML and one CSS file. Let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and this one is the CSS file. In this CSS file I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties are applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file I have added this title mini calendar using javascript great stack and here we have the link tag that will connect the html file and css file now we will add codes within this body tag so here we will add one div with the class name hero now we will add the css for this div so add this class name here in this css file and here we will add some css properties For this class, we have added width 100% and mean height of 100vh. Then background, in the background, I have added the linear gradient color. Then I have added display, align items and justify content. So it will align all the contents inside this div in this center. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see the gradient color on the complete web page. Now just come back. Let me close this browser and I will open it with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file and save the code file. So you can see the same web page again. Now just come back to the HTML file. Within this div, we will add another div with the class name Calendar. And within this calendar, there will be two columns so let's add first div with the class name left duplicate it and change the class name right so we have left and right div in the left one we will add one text in p tag so let's add 01 duplicate it and then we will add one day let's add sunday then in the right side we will add one month name we will add january duplicate it and add the year let's add 2020 after adding this you can see these text here in the center which is in the black color so next we have to add the css to change the alignment and colors so let's come back and first we will add the css for this calendar class write this class name here and for this calendar we will add the width and height then we will change the background so the background will be white color and let's add the display flex align items will be center and border radius of 10 pixel so that the corners will be round so you can see this white color of box now we have to add the css for the left column and right column let's come back and here you can see we have the class name left and right so add this class name here and add the second class name right with a comma. Now we can add the CSS for both. We will add the width. It will be 50%. Then we will add the height 100%. Display will be flex. And Align items center, justify content center, then we will add the font size. So the font size will be 24 pixel. So you can see the increased font size for these text. 
next we have to add one background color in the right column so let's come back and here we will add the class name for the right column and in this one we will add the background let's add one color code and you can see the color has been changed and we have to change the text color also so let's come back and here we will add color white so you can see the white color text next we have to add the border radius and we will change the size of the column the left column will be large and the right column will be small so let's come back here we have added width 50 percent so remove this width it is adding 50 percent width in the left and right both columns so add this width here in the right column and let's add 42 percent width is small and here we will add the class name for the left column and in this one we will increase the width it will be 58 percent so total it will be 100 percent 42 plus 58 now in the second one we will add the border radius so let's add the border top right radius so it will be 10 pixel duplicated and it will be border bottom right radius 10 pixel so this box looks good right now this 01 text and this day name sunday is coming in the same line so we have to align it vertically so let's come back and uh, here we will add flex direction column that's it now it looks good for now we have added date month year manually so we have to update these date and month using javascript so it will display the current date so let's come back and come to the html file and just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag a script open and closing tag here we will add all our javascript code so we have to update the content in this p here january and this year so let's add one id in each text where we have to update it using javascript so we will add the id it will be date the second one is day this is id month and this is id year so we have to update this date day month year so let's add the variables for all those things in this javascript so we will add const date equal to document dot get element by id and write the id date let me duplicate this line and we will change the variable name and id so we have added four variables next we have to get the today's date so here we will add const today equal to new date so in this today we will get the current date let's preview this one we will add console.log today it will be date open the console tab and here you can see tuesday june 13th 2023 so it is displaying the current date in this console so we have to update this data on our web page to display that let's come back and here we will add this date dot inner html equal to today dot get date so it will give the date now duplicate it 
and here we will add day and let's add get day in this one we will add month and this will be get month and here we will add year and it will be get full year so after adding this let's come back to the website and now you can see it is giving 13th 2 5 and 23 so you can see the date 13th is correct year 2023 is correct and here we are getting 2 so it is not actually giving the day which is the monday tuesday it is giving the number it is 0 1 2 3 like that and here also in the month it is giving 5 so 5 is actually zone because the number is starting from 0 and the day number is also starting from 0 so to display the day and month in the text let's come back and uh, remove this console and uh, here we will add const week days let's create one add a weekdays equal to in this one we will add all the weekdays so the weekdays will start from this sunday sunday will be zero now we will add the months so we will add const all months equal to again one array that will contain all the month's name like this now we have to display these day and month according to the number that we are getting from the javascript in this get day it is giving 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 0 will be sunday 1 is one day 2 is tuesday like that so to display the day name here we will add weekdays today get day suppose the get day displays 0 and here we are adding weekdays 0 so it will display sunday if it is 1 so we are adding weekdays 1 so it will display monday like that and let's add the same thing in this months so here let's add all months and today dot get month like this after updating this come back to the website again and now you can see we have 13th tuesday june 2023 now we have to update the size of this text we have to increase the size so let's come back and here we have added the id date let's add this id here in this css file with the hashtag and here we will increase the font size so the font size is 100 pixel and line height is 90 pixel so now this font size looks good right now it is displaying 13th but if the date is 1 2 3 like that so it will only display one digit so we have to display the two digit like 0 1 0 2 0 3 like that so to display the double digit numbers let's come back and here we will add one inline if statement in this date so let's add today dot get date if it is less than 10 it is single digit then it will add one zero else it will be empty like this and here we will add one plus after adding this it will always display the date in two digit so the date is one so it will display zero one and everything is same here so finally we have completed this mini calendar using html css and javascript 
i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video